Family, it's your favorite queer radio personality, Anna Deshaun here, host of the Queer News Podcast. And you already know we're doing this on E3 Radio, your number one stop for queer news done right. And today I'm excited to have fellow founder Charlie joining us. What's going on, Charlie? Hey, thanks for having me. So grateful to be here. Yo, we've been trying to make this happen. Y'all, I want to talk about how many times I rescheduled. That's for another day, okay? <laughs> but the rainbow month had me crazy. And I'm so excited <laughs> today that we finally got to connect and talk about the work that you're doing, Charlie. And so family, if you don't know Charlie, let me just tell you a little, a little bit, okay? I saw Charlie on the internet and I was like, what is Charlie up to? Well, Charlie has founded a wonderful app called Everywhere is Queer. And that's what we're going to talk about today is not only this application that was built by us and for us, but also why Charlie wanted to start it in the first place. So Charlie, first off, congratulations on all your success and thank you again thank for being here. Of course. So Charlie, you launched this app four months ago, right? Yes. Yeah. We launched Everywhere is Queer January 2nd of 2022, but the app was launched February 20th of 2024. What has been the biggest challenge? Running this whole business by myself. <laughs> <laughs> what has been well, the biggest surprise on the journey so far? How big it's gotten. I just cannot believe. I mean, we have almost 100,000 downloads in four months. I can't believe it with a $0 marketing budget. Wow. What's been the magic? What, why how do you think people have flocked to this app? I mean, it's a needed resource that did not exist before, but the magic is the queer community around Everywhere is Queer, that Everywhere is Queer has become. The amount of people that are telling other people about this resource because they care about their friends being seen as their most authentic self locally and globally. Do you think the impact of what's happening politically is also charging this? Do you feel like people are fired up to want to support businesses like everywhere is queer absolutely yeah yeah now That's i know you're a midwest kid too midwest yeah. stand up <laughs> tell yeah. us tell us about growing up in the midwest what it was like growing up in wisconsin and just tell yeah. us a little bit more about you i mean i grew up in a very conservative very republic area and family at the time i'm grateful to say my family's come around today <laughs> to what i believe is where i want them um but yeah, they're very supportive, number one fans of Everywhere is Queer now. So I'm so grateful for that. Um, so it's been a journey, but um, I am so grateful to now run a business called Everywhere is Queer. I really have come far from my Catholic high school I went to. <laughs> oh, you grew up Catholic? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I yeah. mean, the Pope. This Pope has made some strides, but he still can't stop saying the F word. So I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> like, Charlie. I don't know. I don't know if it's the, like, come on, Pope. Like, get your, you know what, together, you know? I do know. I do know. So <laughs> another question I like to ask folks, um, as I know you do a lot of these interviews, Chile, um, I do as well. And I'm always curious as to what gave you the courage the audacity you know to say step out on faith and take the big leap do you quit corporate as well so yeah what was a, was there a moment yeah. um was there a moment that really was like this is this has got to be it i have to do this yeah i mean obviously my whole lived experience i wish i had spaces even when i was a closeted kid i mean i didn't come out to my junior year of college so even in like high school um, I wish I would have known of spaces, a queer coffee shop that I could go sit at and see queer people exist and working, uh, even as a closeted person, uh, just to see, have that resource to be able to go find those spaces. Did not have that. So um, as I navigated through the world and I've made it to 47 in the 50 states, I've slept one night in all 47 states is my little rule. I've experienced queer community in every single state. Now it's looked different in some spaces and some people don't know like necessarily where to meet up, where to go. And in a lot of spaces, it's just gay bars. And there's so much more beyond that. There's so many more spaces that exist of places that we should be able to go and hang out and see and exist as our most authentic selves. So yeah, I mean, my whole lived experience built up and experiences of traveling and everything has like come to the everywhere is queer, you know? I do know. And what in the world are you doing to hit 47 of 50 states, Charlie? Oh. Uh, were you driving around? Has this been, was this part of the mission and part of the goal that you had as you built out um, this platform? 
It's all actually happened. 41 of the 50 states happened before I even came up with the idea of Everywhere is Queer. Um, but it definitely has been like the big, big seed of coming up with the idea. I got a job out of college that took me to 41 of the 50 states. I was a rep for a beverage company. Yeah. Um, but that took me all over and I got to experience communities all over our country. How did that change your life? I wouldn't be here today without it, you know, and I am now my own boss, you know, and this would have never come to fruition if I hadn't experienced seeking out queer communities and finding that there's not a resource for me to find the queer coffee shop, the, you know, space to get a sandwich for lunch, the dinner spot, you know? Um, yeah. And what I think is really powerful about this app as well is that you do want to go to places that are brave and safe for you. Yeah. And I have so many queer friends where they just like, I just don't go pee outside. Like yeah. I just don't. Right. They're just yeah. like, I can't. Right. They don't feel yeah. safe to do so. Yeah. And it is so important that we designate spaces and, and business owners say, Yes, I affirm LGBTQ people here. Yeah. Everybody is welcome here. Yeah. Um, because it sucks that we even have to think about it, but I we agree. do. Yeah. And and because we do, we need places like everywhere is queer. So yeah. I'm 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 so glad that some random beverage corporate job experience yeah. <laughs> took you around the country yeah. Yeah. Um, to land in this place where we now have this wonderful resource for the community. Yeah. Now I I I heard you got a job board these days. What's up yeah. with that? Yeah, just launched a little uh, four weeks ago, um, a job board front and center in app. So next to you, when you download our app, it's free on iOS and Android. You'll see it's centered around our worldwide map of over 14,000 queer owned businesses, 26 different categories. But right next to it, um, front and center, we have our job board. This is a space for queer and allied corporations, organizations, nonprofits to post jobs right in front of our almost 100,000 users. And I mean, we had 6.52 million impressions in the month of June. I mean, that means how many times our app was opened. So, I mean, our people are, our users are engaged. And so this is a space for you to, you know, post a job in front of this incredible community that's all 18 plus in age too. So it's all adults. Wow, that is incredible. That is an incredible amount of usage. Isn't that insane? Wow. I mean, I looked that at is that insane. And I almost fell off my chair when I saw that number because I, I mean, it's July 3rd. So while well, we're recording this, and um, I, yeah, just wild. I'm blown away. That is, that is wild, Charlie. Grateful. Congratulations. That is Thank beautiful. You. Yeah, I mean, that's people beautiful. Are using it. And if you're a business owner, it is working. How about that? It is working. Yeah. And if you are an LGBTQ owned business, how do you get set up inside the app? You say like, yeah. I heard this. I want to be inside the app. What do they have to do? Yeah. It's free to join right now. So join now before it's not free to join. Um, <laughs> but you'll apply via the profile tab of our app. You just click add slash uh, edit my business or job posting. It takes you to our admin portal. It's same login as the app. It's all synced. And that's where you'll um, apply to be on our platform. It's where you'll post jobs. Um, yeah, a few other, uh, marketing opportunities for organizations on our platform, uh, in that our admin portal as well. So you didn't hurt the word. Don't wait. Okay. Cause the price is going up. Yesterday's prices are not today's prices. Okay. So I don't know when you're going to find this video, but I think you should do it right now yeah. today. Uh, you ought to get on it. I love that. I love that. <sighs> Charlie, what type of impact are you seeing that you're having on yeah. businesses and people right now, what are you hearing from the people and business owners? Thousands and thousands of messages every month that are saying, thank you from a user perspective. My partner and I would have never gone on a cross country road trip without your platform. And now we're planning our first cross country road trip, um, mapping out all these safe spaces that we get to go to along the way. Um, from the business perspective, I had, um, a hair salon in rural Texas reach out and share, I've received 15 new clients at my hair salon in one month of being listed on your platform. You're changing my life because my business is succeeding and you're changing the, every single person's life that gets to sit in my seat as a queer person and get their gender affirming haircuts with full support. So, I mean, I, I could go on and on with stories of thank yous. I mean, it's just genuine people reaching out saying thank you. And I think this is the epitome of what community can look like. 
yeah. in 2024. Let's go. Right. I think that it is the power of people mm-hmm. that will absolutely change the world. Yeah. Uh, and people with good hearts and good minds mm-hmm. that that all they want to do is do good and do their yeah. work and have a happy life. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just for me, I believe it is truly that simple. I mean, I um, believe that's what life is about. I mean, it's about community. It's about friendships. It's about supporting and uplifting each other, you know, and I feel like we've just gotten so far away from that. And many ways and so divided and it's like let's bring it back to what we really want to the life we should be living you know yeah the life we should be living and charlie i feel like you might be living your best life right now Uh, i mean (laughs) i will say i'm gonna be honest this has been really hard i know it may seem like it's all you know roses but it's been really hard to grow this business and figure out how to, to pay my bills you know and stuff like that but We're doing it. The app has been a game changer. So if you're listening, please go download our app. It's free on iOS and Android. Give us a five-star review. We're rocking a 5.0 on Apple uh, App Store. We got a 4.8 on Android, but we're still, you know, we're doing good. You know, over 350 reviews of five stars. Amazing. And I don't want to, I don't want to move past that because as a fellow founder, (laughs) I want you to know I see you. And I know exactly what you mean. People ask me all the time. They're like, Anna, how did you do it? You're having such great success. I'm like, Chile, I miss auto pay. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) I miss a guaranteed check every two weeks. Oh, do I understand that? You know, I... You don't know what yes. you miss until you don't have it no more. Okay. Insurance. I, insurance. I'm grateful for a wife who is willing to keep a job that yeah, also provides yeah. me health insurance in this Amazing. affirming state of Illinois. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so I don't want to miss that moment. Family, yeah. if you're listening to this, right? Entrepreneurship, it is a mood unlike any other mood. Yeah. Um, that I think any founder has ever experienced. It's the wildest yeah. roller coaster ride yeah. you will ever ride because as yeah. high as you can get is as low as you can get, yeah. quite literally. And the higher you get is the lower the low can get. And when you decide to take that risk, you are getting on that type of a ride. And so, yeah. Charlie, for anybody listening, is there a way they can donate to you and to the business? Absolutely. You, uh, on our website, everywhereisqueer.com, um, we have a donate section. Um, it's in our like store section. Just scroll down and you'll see the donate option. Um, so grateful if anyone chooses to donate. The biggest thing people can do, of course, donate your money. I'm so grateful. But download our app and just know that we're building, we're going to be building out ways for people to support in app and make it like really easy. And so um, all I ask is like download our app and we have a long list of things to come. The job board is just the first one to come since the next edition, since we launched four months ago. Uh, But we have a whole list, you know, so just stay tuned. We're going to be expanding uh, significantly and have so many resources for the queer, trans and ally community. Oh, I was just about to ask, what can we expect in the future? I think that might be, I mean, I think that might be the tease right now, but (laughs) just know that we are building and expanding in a lot of ways coming soon. Well, I can't wait to see what those ways look like. Yeah. And family, you already know the call to action. Go download the app. Give it a five-star rating, okay? And Charlie, can I just say yeah. thank you? Thank of you course. for building thank this. You. Thank you. Thank you for building this. Thank you for creating space for queer business owners. Uh, we're going to put our business inside of Everywhere is Queer so folks know that we're here. Because I think one thing that I thought was really great was that online businesses can be included as well. They're not all brick and mortar, correct? hundred percent. We have an entire online business section. So as I was explaining earlier, it's centered around our map next to it's the job board. If you go the other way to the left of it is our online business section. We have 31 different categories. So all you have to put is a city and a state. Um, and if you're an online business owner, you don't even have to be a registered LLC. Um, we welcome, you know, your small Etsy shops. We want to support you. You heard it here. You heard it here. And if this is the first place you're hearing it, tell somebody else, okay? Download Everywhere is Queer today. And thank you, family. And thank you, Charlie, for joining me. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Anna. Absolutely. Family, stay close. You know, more coming from Anna Deshaun right here on E3 Radio, your number one stop for queer news done right.